Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 GM or Gold Master was released today. This is the final version before it comes out to the public and assuming there's no other issues with it, this will be the final version. Sometimes we have seen a GM2 in the past, but that's very rare. This one came in at 2.76 gigabytes on my iPhone 10, and then on the 5S, SE, 7 Plus, and iPad Pro, they came in at different sizes, actually a lot less than this in some cases. Now, the 7S installed, or 7 Plus rather, installed very quickly, but my 10 took a long time to install, so if you're waiting to install it, just know it may take a little bit of time. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 16A366, and this particular build is the final. Unless Apple comes out with a different updated build number on Monday, all you'll need to do is remove the beta profile if you no longer want to be on the beta. A lot of the time when the final version comes out to the public, it's the same as the Gold Master. So all you'll do is go to settings, go over to general, scroll down to profile, go to your profile, remove the profile, and then reboot and you'll be on the final version. And that final version, there won't be an update or anything like that. You'll just be on it and you won't get any more beta updates. If you want to continue to get beta updates when iOS 12.1 beta one comes out, just leave the profile there. Now, the other thing is with this particular update, there's not a whole lot new. There's no new wallpapers. They've also removed group FaceTime until later, and we talked about that before. That happened in the previous betas. Also, there's no Siri Shortcuts app. Now, I have it because it's the developer version, but this Shortcuts app is pretty much going to come through the App Store and replace Workflow. A lot of people have said they expected it just to show up, but it doesn't seem that tightly integrated according to the code. And what is tightly integrated, though, is Siri Shortcuts, and that's built in in settings under Siri, We'll go back here. So you'll see here's Siri shortcuts built in and there's a few shortcuts, but other than that being built in, uh, it's not the same as the shortcuts app. So this is a little bit more advanced if you want to tweak settings and make a bunch of other stuff. We'll go into that a little bit later on in a different video. But as far as Siri suggestions is what that's called. So the suggestions are only going to be available for iPhone 6S or later, iPad Pro, iPad 5th generation or later, iPad Air 2, and iPad Mini 4. So it won't be on some of the older devices, unfortunately. Also in the iOS 12 Gold Master, camera effects in messages is only available on iPhone SE and 6S and later, and also unavailable on the iPad. And also camera effects in FaceTime is only available on iPhone 7 or later and isn't available on the iPad. So these are finalized changes, it looks like, and shouldn't change in the future. Now, a lot of you ask me how my storage is after I install a beta, and we'll take a look at speed on these in a moment. But the storage is actually all over the place. Now, previously, it was using over 20 gigabytes of storage for the system. So we'll go here, we'll go to iPhone storage, scroll down, and you'll see right now it's using 19.59 gigabytes. This goes up and down up to 30, so it keeps going down. So hopefully it stays down and we don't run into that again. Now, as far as speed on this, since updating, it's been pretty good. And I'll show you a Geekbench in a moment, but it's been pretty good. And speed of things loading, such as the App Store, things are loading really fast and smooth. I'm having no issues on this or any of the older devices. And if we go here, for example, maybe we'll load music at the same time. So they're closed on both devices. We'll see what it does. It's faster here, but not too much slower on the, on the 5S. Let's load music on the S7 Plus. It's about the same. So it's performing pretty quickly in loading some of the apps. Scrolling has been much improved smooth wise. Let's take a look at the older device here. Now let's just go to Apple's website. We can take a look at the new iPhone 10s the big news you see it it's nice and smooth loads quickly if you want to go to websites and your apps should load quickly as well and no issues there so things like minecraft we'll let that load if you want to take a look and just see what kind of time it takes to load it on an older device and then a lot of you i don't know if you want to keep seeing this or not but a lot of you want to see how fortnite is and we'll take a look at that in a moment but i wanted to go over the known issues there's still 16 known issues that are in the notes from from apple although they're all the same as before. So all of those known issues are still the same and it just looks like they haven't updated the, the notes because a lot of them affect older devices, not so much newer ones or older builds. So maybe updating something from iOS beta 9, 12 beta 9, things like that, then you'd have problems. So it looks like most of those have been worked out and it should be pretty stable. 
So let me go into Fortnite. You'll see it's already loaded here. And we'll hit play. Well, I can't find anyone, but you get the idea. It works okay. It seems to be working fine. Frame rates are good. So that's working well. And let me know if that's something you want to see regularly in all of the different versions or not. But basically, it's running really well on all of these. In fact, this particular beta or set of betas has been the best betas out of any of the iOS's and I've used every single iOS beta. And so this is working out really well. And I think most of you would be happy with it. Now let's take a look at the geek bench. So we'll go to history and you'll see, I ran this, not this one, this one. I ran this just before I made the video 4,247 for single core, 10,467 for multi-core. If we take a look at the history here, you'll see, uh, we're about the same as before, maybe a little bit less, but it may go up and down as this kind of takes a while to do its things in the background and then it should be fine, but it doesn't feel slow on any of the devices yet. And I'll talk about battery in a follow-up update because it takes a few days to know what that's like, but it's been good for me overall, but let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. I'll link the wallpaper in the description as I always do. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.